Hello, hey, I'm gonna show you a script that I like to use. Uh, one of my favorite scripts, I use it all the time. Um, it's called EB Labs Workspace. And uh, let me show you how it works. So, a classic example for this is walk cycles and run cycles. How we typically animate walk cycles and run cycles. And when we first started learning walk cycles and run cycles, we would make them uh, run and walk on. The, on the, the, the spot right a uh, treadmill and we don't usually use this in real uh, in in production we actually make the character move forward in world space and uh, the easy way to do this I mean the simple way of doing it is you just set a key on the main controller right and make it move forward whoops move forward like this all right so this this okay I mean, this is the the how you usually change your treadmill walk cycle run cycle into a world space run cycle, right? But the problem with this is you get a lot of foot slides, and you can go in and you know frame by frame counter animate it, but you know it's troublesome. We don't want to do that. Uh, so this why this where this tool comes in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the hip or root control as they call it. Because uh, this controls everything on top, and my feet, because my feet, two feet, main control, and we're gonna hit this button to world space. It's gonna store everything into a temporary controller. See these three extra controllers that appear, and now I can make any changes I like, and I can still keep my animation. So I'm gonna delete the keys on the main control. I'm gonna delete all this. If I play back, you can see the character is moving forward and the main controls stay in place. Yay! And now we're gonna bake those extra keys, uh, those extra controller keys, into the three controllers that we selected. So if you open your outliner, you will see like three extra uh, controllers. Select those and you're gonna hit to local space. Yeah, hit to local space. It's now being baked back into the controllers, those changes that you made. And now we play back. The character's running in world space without the main controller moving. It's it's very useful when you have to change like parents as well. Like if your arm is parented to the hip and then you want to change it to world space, anything like that. Or weapons as well, it's very useful. I use it a lot. Uh, this script is not free. You have to pay for it. It's fifteen bucks, but it's really useful, and I recommend that you you get it. It's worth the fifteen bucks, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you. Bye bye.